Hello learners. Welcome in this session on BA Practical Activities Workshop 1. As a learner of BA first year in IGNO, you may be aware that workshop is one of the practical activity which you need to complete. As you may be aware that in BA program, workshops are compulsory component and we have two workshops. Workshop 1 with code BESL131 is organized in first year. It is of 12 days duration and similarly another workshop, workshop 2, which will be organized in your second year with code BESL132. That workshop is also of 12 days duration. So in this session, we will focus on different activities and how workshop 1 will be conducted. So workshop is basically a 12 days face to face compulsory component which will be organized at your program study center. When to organize the workshop? This is the first question which may come to your mind. Generally, we do not organize any workshop during the term and examination of IGNU. Term and examination of IGNU are being conducted twice in a year in December and in June. So no workshop will be organized during the term and examination. What will be the dates of the workshop? It will be decided by your program in charge based on the availability of the resources, the teachers, the space and your vacation schedule. Generally workshops are organized before term and examination of IGNU. For example, if you are a student of January 2020 batch and your first year exam is scheduled in December 2020, so you need to attend a workshop before that. So workshop may be organized in May, may be organized in October, November, depending upon your breaks. So workshops are either being organized during the summer breaks or during any other long spell of vacation in between because you need your presence 12 days continuously at your study center. Please remember that workshops are mandatory for all Attendance for all 12 days during the workshop is mandatory, so no leave will be sanctioned. You will be allowed to attend first year workshop only after completion of internship 1. And you have to attend the workshop at your allotted program study center. Dear learners, generally we prefer a gap of one academic session or we suggest a gap of one academic session between two workshops. So one cannot attend both the workshops in same year or simultaneously. Without completing the activities of internship one, you will not be allowed to attend workshop one. This is the workshop schedule. If you see all 12 days are divided into four sessions. So what will be in session one? What will be in session two on which day it has been written here? You can also see that the total number of sessions varying for some days it is 4 for some days it is 8 or 12 but if you see that you have 5 pedagogy courses BES 1412, BES 145 out, out of which 2 courses have been opted by you. So whenever there is a session related to your pedagogy subject the session will be conducted in 5 parallel rooms same time. So the total number of session will increase. If there is one such session, the total number of session comes to eight. If there are two such sessions, the total number of session on that day can come to 12. Similarly, you can see here in day five, six and seven, there are sessions on presentation of lesson plans in simulated situation. So at least in both subjects, you need to present three lesson plans in each subject. In simulated situation means you will teach that lesson plan to your peers in your pedagogy subject group. If you see the schedule of 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th day, on 10th or 11th day the sessions are generally related to your EPC courses. Faculty members of School of Education have developed many video resources which you and your study center can use during the workshop. We have given session wise detail that on which day in which session with which title, which video program can be used and the YouTube links of 
those video programs you can see and same has been given to your study centers also similarly you can see here there are three more videos for day 3 day 7 and day 8 and these three video links are for day 9 day 10 why we developed these videos so we tried to help our resource persons our study centers and our learners that the intended learning outcomes are achieved during the workshop sessions so the question is how to use these video resources your resource person will use the video to initiate the session the video can be downloaded or it can be played directly from youtube after the video a discussion may held during the workshop your resource person may pose certain questions or you can ask certain questions then whatever is the activity given to that particular session that will be performed by you at per suggestions given by your resource person in the workshop the duration of each session is 90 minutes in the beginning of each day 15 minutes have been allotted to a brief report presentation of the previous day's activities so your resource person may ask to any one of you to prepare and present the report of the previous day activities by rotation so on one day one person can present the report and next day some other participant can present the report as i have already told you that sessions for the pedagogy courses will run as five parallel sessions that is in five different rooms most of the sessions in the workshop are either activity based or reflective in nature where you need to discuss you need to reflect on your own practices you are expected to perform either group activity or an individual activity there will be a resource person in each session who will conduct the session and your active participation is expected in each activity during the workshop if you see the session details in the handbook each session has three stage or each session expects your involvement in three stages pre-workshop activity during workshop activity and post workshop activity pre-workshop activity if you see in your handbook suggests what you should read before coming to the workshop or what material is required to perform the activity in that particular session so you come with that material during workshop activity explains that what you will do during the workshop what are the activities which you will undertake how your resource person will conduct the session and post workshop activity suggest that the outcome of the session will be used in which way for assessment and in your future teaching learning dear participants now come to the assessment during the workshop there will be three types of assessment assessment of the reports of activities completed by you during your internship assessment of the epc activities and assessment of your performance during the workshops and grading of all these three will be done separately let us talk about first you are expected to bring the reports of all the activities which you have completed during your internship one all reports should be authenticated by the mentors and verified by the principal of your internship school the sessions which are allotted for the assessment of internship reports you will be asked to present your reports your peers may give feedback on your activities and presentation and your resource person will grade your internship activities and submit your grades with the reports to the workshop in charge of your program study center similarly the assessment of epc activities will take place you are expected to bring the reports of the activities of both epc courses which you have completed during the internship one you have completed two activities in epc course one and two activities in epc course two during your internship there are four activities which are to be completed during the workshop on day 10 and day 11 so two activities for epc course one and two activities for epc course two assessment of all these reports will be done during the assessment sessions for epc activities 
So again, in the allotted sessions for assessment of EPC activities, you will be asked to present your reports. Your peers may give feedback on your activities and presentations. And your source person will grade your EPC activities and submit your grades to workshop in charge at your PSC along with your reports. Then comes the assessment of workshop activities because in workshop there are a lot of sessions. So the grade of various reports which you will submit or present during the workshop sessions will be provided by the workshop facilitator or resource person during the workshop only. So the resource person who will take a particular session, he or she will grade the report of that particular session. The grades on group activities may be same for all the participants of the group. And the cumulative grade for each participant will be calculated by your workshop in charge and submitted to regional center. Though regional center or school of education have all rights to moderate the grades which will be awarded to you if required. So dear learners, I hope that this presentation will help you in performing better during the workshop one. Still, if you have any confusion, or you have any doubt, you can contact us at soe at the rate ignu.ac.in or you can talk to the program in charge of your program study center. So keep learning, keep enjoying, be a great teacher. Thank you very much.